Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Lana. I am from group 2 and my group will explain about swimming gears and how it helps the swimmer. Okay, so actually there are many types of swimming gears in this world but I will just give few types of swimming gears and few examples. The first one are the swimming gears that we put on our body and the first example as you can see from the slide is the swimming shirt or swimming suit. Okay, swimming suit can be skin tight or loose fitting and we have choice to choose either we want it in short sleeve or long sleeve. And there are also wide range of design from that almost completely cover the body to design that expose almost of the body. Usually the choice of swimming suit will depend on the personal preference and committee as well as on considerations such as how much or how little sun protection is desired by the swimmer. Okay, so the main function of swimming suit or swimming shirt is to give comfort as well as extra protection for the swimmer. Okay, the next one is swim caps. Usually the material is made of elastic fabric. Um, and also swim caps are worn for a few different reasons. Maybe to keep your hair out of your face while swimming or maybe to protect your hair from corrosive effect of the chemicals in the pool. Okay, the next one would be earplugs. As you can see how it looks like from the slide. Okay, so its function is to keep water out of the air canals of the swimmer and also if they fit, it can stop water from getting in your air canals and also prevent from ear infection. Okay, so the next one is goggles. As we all know that most pools contain high level of chlorine and also other chemicals so these goggles help us and allow us to see while our head is immersed in the water and also we don't have to worry much about the irritation that will occur later on if we wear the goggles in a right way. Alright, so moving to the next types of swimming gears which we usually use to enhance our skills inside the water. The first and famous one is a life jacket where we put it around our upper body and it is also suitable for kids or beginners to help them to get used in the water and also to help them float in the water. Next is swimming noodle. A noodle is flexible tube shaped flotation device that we can wrap under our arms or we can put it around our waist to keep us floating so that we can keep moving in the water. Especially kids, they love to play with swimming noodles. Okay, the third one is kickboard. Kickboards are devices that made of foam or other materials that help the swimmer to float and they come in a variety of shape and also size. The main purpose of kickboard is for us to hold on and stay afloat while our legs do all the work in the pool and also it's a good exercise for coordinating our kids. Okay, the last one would be the fins. Usually we will we will put the fins on our feet and it is function as a good great training for our legs and also it helps us to swim faster in the water and it is also most commonly used for divers like scuba diving and also snorkeling that's all for me i will pass to my friend hi assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is farhatul and i will be explaining about the analysis and the statistics that we have found regarding wearing your swimsuits or your swim gears when you are swimming there are three main points that will be highlighted in this presentation which are first reaching hydrodynamics second recreational watercraft incidents and third drowning and pool injuries so the first one studies has estimated over 90 percent of swimmers power output is spent to overcome hydrodynamics um, resistance so these studies have said that wearing swim gears can potentially increases the chance of reaching aerodynamics when you are swimming. Um, the results shown that fiber orientation has a significant effect on aerodynamic drag and the optimal orientation can reduce the hydrodynamic drag. 
the second one is recreational watercraft accidents uh, in which we are looking at the 2015 and the 2019 cases right so in 2019 there are 79 percent of fatal watercraft accidents victim died by drowning and of those 86 percent uh, were not wearing life jackets or proper gears after the federal law were implemented less cases were reported so um, in conclusion uh, wearing proper swim gears or life jackets will lessen the risk of you to have um, incidents while um, taking a watercraft right the third one is drowning and pool injuries so 74 percent injuries are reported to happen in a residential pool and public pool respectively so more than 50 percent of drowning victims treated at an emergency room and were hospitalized um, uh, the study said that non-use of life jackets and proper gears even when they are readily available is a significant contributory factor in all cases so in conclusion of these facts of these statistics we can see that not using a proper swimming gears or life jackets will increase the risk of getting injured or even um, a fatal incident. Thank you very much. I pass the floor to the next presenter. So there are three major importance of wearing uh, swimming gear. Firstly, we can streamline our body during swimming with the right swimming gear. And secondly, we will look good inside and out of the water by wearing good swimming gear. And thirdly, by wearing the right swimming gears, it will help us to improve our technique because our swimming will be more efficient with the right swimming gear. So, why do we need to wear goggles when we swim and what are the benefits? Goggles will protect your eyes from any redness or irritation that could occur due to the pH level in the pools and bugs that stay in the pool. And secondly, wearing goggles, it could increase your comfort underwater because when we swim with our eyes open without the goggles, we will experience poor vision while underwater. So, by wearing goggles, it allows you to keep your eyes open during the entire swim without every problem. And thirdly, we need to wear goggles because it can give you better performance when swimming. Uh, some swimming instructors will ask their students to wear goggles uh, to get them going underwater more easily because they realize how clear the water is compared to the blurry look without the goggles. And why do we need to wear swimsuit? Okay, because if we wear straight clothes when we swim, especially those that made of cotton, it can transport airborne and waterborne which can contaminate the pool. And also, absorbent material like cotton can easily break in the water and it can clog the pool fitter which create the need for expensive repair. So, swimmers should wear lycra or nylon material swimsuit. So, and lastly, what, why do swimmers need to wear swim cap? Okay, firstly, swimmers wear swim caps to reduce the drag and to be more hydrodynamic. So, it can lead to faster and easier swimming because less hair are catching on the body. So, we can move quicker and it also helps to protect the hair, scalp and ear from pool water because swimming con swim pool contain a lot of chlorine. For the recommendation on how to choose the right swimming gear, firstly for the swimsuit, the torso of your swimwear should lie perfectly flat on your body without any gathering uh, and pulling uh, your swimwear from openings. But however, you need to consider that the swimsuit is not too tight and for the leg, you should check the elastic strap and ensure it's not digging into your legs. And for the bust, the bust of your swimwear should have plenty coverage without flattening your chest entirely. And the material you choose, uh, choose lightweight and breathable material that dries quickly uh, so that it can eliminate any excessive cleans on the body and choose streamlined design. Okay, for the swim cap, uh, before buying the swim cap, you should try on uh, that swim cap and determine what feels right for you but uh, here I will give recommendation of material that you should consider before buying okay for the latex material it is usually suitable for the competitive and fitness swimmer and for lycra it is uh, suitable for uh, beginners uh, because it's, it is very cozy and comfortable, comfortable. and for neoprene 
new print materials, it is suitable for open water races. Uh, for Muslima, you can choose a material that is lightweight, quick drying fabric, and also have elastic interior. So, for the nose clip and earplugs, um, this is uh, for those who have problem with ear canals. Uh, you might to consider purchasing and wear earplugs. Usually, children um, they are more susceptible to uh, this ear canal problem since they have narrow ear uh, canals. So, before purchasing this, uh, you should consider on choosing a bright color nose clip and earplug so that if it is lost underwater, you can find it easily. And you should choose. Purchase a nose clip and earplug that has carrying case so you won't lose it easily. When choosing goggles, you should choose goggles that fit perfectly on. And this can be decided by the seal of the goggle, not the strap. So uh, always try your goggles on before you buy. But if you're shopping online, you can check whether that retailer offer a uh, full refund or not if they don't fit. And you have to be careful uh, to check the goggles that are not too white as sometimes uh, they may leak uh, water if they stress too white around the corner of your eyes. So as for the comfort, uh, your goggles uh, should seal perfectly around your eyes but a lack of comfort over the nose can be irritating. So many goggles uh, have adjustable nose piece but uh, if your goggles are too tight and rubbing against the bridge of your nose, you should try on another pair. And lastly, uh, nearly all goggles uh, now come with anti-fog and coating and also UV protection. So if that goggle doesn't offer anti-fog coating and also UV protection, you shouldn't be paying as much for them. Alright, uh, that is all from us. Thank you.